Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Outdoor Outpost. Um, today we're going to be going over how to clean and cook some trout that we caught. So stay tuned and row that intro. Alright guys, so what we have here is a trout. We've already bled him out of the reservoir. So what we did is we took right where the gills are and we cut. Okay, and that's going to bleed, bleed the fish so you get whiter meat, better quality meat. So what you want to do is you want to start at the anus, so this is right there, okay? Hold it down, okay? And then you're going to want to cut. Be very careful because you can easily cut yourself on this. All right, just like that, okay? You have all the guts here. All right, so you're going to want to pull all those out. Right, you're going to want to put this, those in the back. And then there's going to be this black line right there. Okay, that's blood. So we're going to want to take it over to the sink. Okay, hold on. Thank you. Okay, we're going to want to wash the, the fish out and then just use your nails and just scrape all of that out. Okay. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Okay. So now what you you're going to want to do is go right behind this fin right here. Just cut down. Okay. Until you meet his spine. Okay. And you're going to want to turn your knife sideways on that spine and then run your knife right across that. That's fine. This is where it's good to have a really flexible knife, guys. All right. There we go. No bones. Just a little bit right there. So not too bad. We just gotta cut off just a little bit of that white meat right there. So just Get right there, just cut right. Sorry, guys, I'm gonna get where you, you can see this. Do you do your nails in there? Just cut right that white meat, those are ribs. Just want to cut as close as you can, but still getting the ribs. And there you have it. Hopefully, trout. Alright, throw that over there, rips in there, you want to flip him, do the exact same thing on this one, okay? So, behind the fin, down, until you feel the spine, okay? Turn the knife, cut in there, okay? And then just run it down. Oops. Right down. Knife's going dull on me. down okay feel it the white there that's what you want to take off you actually feel the ribs right there so just follow the ribs down you grab it you just cut down I'm trying to I'm trying to look through the ribs almost guys and seeing where you're cutting so you don't cut that much meat off you're just cutting off this little white piece Okay. We'll take this and just boop. Just booping it. There you, there you go, guys. It's a nice clean fillet. Alright, guys. So basically, what we want to do is we want to go to medium heat. I use this extra virgin olive oil. Throw it right in there. Wait till that gets hot. All right now we're gonna season it. Do some salt. Some pepper. 
over. Some garlic, some garlic salt. Get a nice little crust on it. A lot of this is going to cook off. All right. All right, yeah, so if you have time, what you can do is put these into buttermilk and it will pull some of the gaminess out of it. Um, some of that fish taste that most of them don't actually enjoy. So now we just wait for the oil to get. On and then we're ready to cook. Oh yes. So I'm gonna throw throw it in, meat down, all right? And that's what you want to hear right there, guys. Okay. And then throw this little guy in there. Hey guys, while you wait for you know anything to cook, you have to let on the dog. You gotta love on the dogs. Ain't that right, baby? Ain't that right, Echo? Oh, I know it. I know it. I know it. Alright, guys, so you wanna cook it about four minutes, four to five minutes on one side. And then the skin, you just gotta cook for about two minutes. Alright, guys, so. Pull them out, stick them on a plate. Oh, they're falling apart. That's what you want. Look at that. There we go. Smelling amazing. Okay, we got one more to go, and then we can eat. All right, guys. We just gotta flip this, be careful it's hot, trust me, I know. All right, at this point, the last one, you can turn her off. All right, and now we just wait. Let her finish up cooking and we, we get to the best part, which is, you know, tasting it. All right, guys, I'm take up the heat. Grab her up, put her on the plate right there with her friends. Put that over there. And now we get to do the best part, we get to taste it. Mmm. Yeah, that's pretty baller. Yeah, guys. Pretty good, a good recipe. My wife makes one better, but. You know, she would kill me if I gave it to you. So there's, there's that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. Um, let me know your favorite recipe for trout, for bass, for pike. I'm always look, looking for new recipes. So if you liked the video, make sure to give it that thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. Smash that thumbs down. Give us a comment regardless on what we can do do better, what you liked about the video. Don't forget to share it. That it helps us out a lot, guys. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys. And enjoy it and I will see you next time.